ma fa ra ni aro ni ni awon na ma ni fe mekunu Residents of Olodo community in Oyo State have continued to lament the suffering and pains they go through every day after the collapse of the bridge linking the community Iwo town of Oshun State to other parts of Ibadan and other cities. Behind me here is a big dish at Olodo community in Ibadan, Oyo State capital. And many of them had to track miles from Olodo Bank down to this place to take bike, to take their cab, to wherever they might be going. If you buy a wallet, I know you. 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 The point is, it has been a perennial problem whenever there is rainfall. But um, the, the, the water, when the water overflows, it helps and over, overflows the, uh, the bridge here. Yeah? And people find it very difficult to pass. Um, this, is a, this is an interstate road, and it is very busy. It, 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 it's not only just residents around here that are affected, people that are traveling. This is a road that is linking Oyo State and Osho State. The to the government is, government should do it as a matter of urgency to find an alternative route. A matter of urgency, security challenges at night. Because when people walk around here in the night, they walk around with a phone light. And phone light is not enough, you know, any other thing can, you know, these social vices can be encouraged here. Though the security people are around here, but could they rescue such emergency in a dark area? Those are the things that government should do as a matter of emergency. They are street light poles, they don't come on at night. I beg your bawa, can't do once a good media, I am a fast, but can't do a load drill or no load day. Come by one more, I see. Toriku <laughs> Meanwhile, the Chief Press Secretary to the Oyo State Governor, Sulaiman Olariwaju, in a phone interview, assured that the state government is on top of the situation. It's unfortunate that uh, what happened did happen. Weeks before the flooding, the Oyo State Government, even since early this year, had been dredging all the rivers and the streams in Badon, all the areas that are prone to flooding. Or most of the streams have been dredged. And this particular road is a federal road. That's why the government took it upon itself to reconstruct the road. But unfortunately, before work got to the bridge, the, there was flooding and they collapsed. Immediately it happened, the governor deployed people from the Ministry of Works, relevant MDAs. The government deployed them to go and check what had happened and how the effects could be mitigated. So what the team did was to look for an alternative route. And I think what people want is the road that's better. So if we have to endure that uh, restriction, that state of the road for about six months, or nine months, or even 12 months, I think it will be well worth it at the end of it. So we should just be patient and allow the contractor to do the job. We are optimistic, like every other person, that this project will be completed in good time. We are believing that this will come 
to the government and the government will ensure that the project is speedily completed. From Ibadan, Daniel Anyotoye, Punch News.